Hi hey guys, here we are again. This is a trilogy of unboxing. This is our third box, uh, which we are opening now, of the army surplus. I sort of more or less know what's in here, but it's always interesting to have a look at uh, the condition of the things that I'm getting. And also, the, there's a couple of things in here that I haven't had before and I just cross my fingers and hope that the condition of them is, is going to be you know, acceptable. Although, like for instance those, those Bulgarian helmets that I've just opened, um, yeah, you never know what sort of condition they're going to be in. And, although they are a genuine article, so you know, you've got to get to accept what comes through. Well, first of all, in this uh, in this third box we've opened, we've got some outbound canvas bags. These bags uh, used to sell really well in the shop. I've got a number of these, and I'm trialling some new ones. Uh, these are double straps. But you can actually use them as one strap. But these have got pockets on either side and a, and a central pocket on the outside as well. So we can try these. Um, there's another style there. There's buckles. I'm not sure whether this one has just got the double straps or single straps. But I'll have to open it on another one. Um, more bags. Um, folding shovels. Now I've got folding shovels on the website, but they're only small. You know, like uh, you can actually carry that on your belt or put it in a backpack. These are more like uh, the sort of camping. Um, you throw them in the back of your uh, car or trailer, or you can actually leave them in the car if you're uh, out on a farm or somewhere. Um, the sort of arm, these are definitely army style. Uh, you just tighten them up. Tighten them up and turn them into a shovel. It becomes really rigid and solid. It's got a sawtooth on the side there for chopping up small branches. Um, it's a really, really handy tool to have. Uh, and they're not, it's not going to break the bank. It's not a very expensive tool at all. It just falls up. Turned out a bit well. Which way is it? I'm not doing it right. There we go. And it comes with its own bag which can be cable tied onto anything and also you can actually put it on your belt but these are really handy to have I've got one uh, in my Land Rover you just got to have one um, axes just standard axes these are one and a half pound axes they're nice and neat um, again uh, good to throw in the car or if you're going camping you know they're not going to be very expensive. More of the canvas bags. I'll just pull these out. These are on my website. You'll be able to see them. Have a sort of close look at them. Measurements and things like that. Again, we've got another communa bag. Uh, what else have we got here? Okay, we have in here the Swiss bayonet. I've got a few of these. 
we'll have a look at this one. Okay, so the Swiss bayonet um, is quite a nice bayonet. Um, I like I like the aesthetics of uh, of this bayonet. It, it's rather rather nice. It's got a good grip on it. Um, As you can see, um, stainless steel, interestingly double edged. Um, you know, the restrictions you have on double edged knives these days. Um, so, although it's not double edged all the way down, again, it's uh, a nice bayonet. It's got its serial number, you can see the serial number maybe. No. Um, nice collectible piece. If you're collecting bayonets, um, then you know this one should be in your collection, I suppose. They're not going to be that expensive, I would say around about the 125 to 150 mark. Uh, let me do my pricing yet, I haven't got them. Just don't forget I'm going to add GST uh, and also um, postal, postal charges. Now, postal charges are going up all the time um, and it's, you know, you know the few, few years ago I, would, I was uh, getting, getting stock for a really reasonable price but now I'm going to pay a lot for, for transportation costs. Got a couple more. Um, there's another Swiss bayonet, another one. Um, obviously, X X usage, X surplus. Uh, I've got a few of these on the website as well now. Um, this is a um, Spanish Bolo bayonet. You can find these around. They're not. They're not very rare, but they're handy, um, and they're collectible, of course. There's a Spanish mark on that. Nice, complete with the scabbard. It's got hanging straps. It's also got a, a lanyard there on it to tie to your to your leg. And it, they are, that's how they're made. They're made that, like that shape, which we call a bolo shape. Um, fits on a, I can't remember the rifle, F, an F, I uh, can't remember the name of the rifle. More Vietnam period shirts. Complete with stains and marks. Another one. Another one. There's a good name, isn't it? Look at that one. Okay. Snow water. And we have um, more gas masks. The gas masks I showed you earlier in the on the second box I unboxed. Um, we have two more of the gas masks. The straps, of course. So you're okay for uh, if the Delta strain comes over here. You've got. You've got a gas mask you can wear, and um, we have a couple of lots of helmets here. We've got um, the first one is a looks like a Russian helmet. Um, well, it actually is, but uh, the, the shape of it. But it's actually the Czech. It was issued to the Czechs because they're a communist country, um, and. Um, I don't mean I don't mean to say that in a derogative way or manner, um, but this is a, yeah, what we call a check. A lot of people pass it off as a Russian helmet. It is not a Russian helmet uh, as per se. Um, it's 
for the Czech Army. Okay, so a couple of them, and last but not least, can anyone tell me what this one is? Well, you're right. If you've guessed correctly, this is a Swiss helmet um, called an M18 Swiss helmet. We use this helmet um, for many, many years, uh, right the way through uh, World War II and beyond. Um, you can see the resemblance to the German World War I style helm, uh, especially the three pad leather liner. Um, it's quite a nice helmet, it's regional, um, but you know, if you were collecting helmets, yeah, fair enough, it's part of that um, collectible regime if you're collecting helmets, it's one that's, uh, you don't see many of these around, um, they are quite expensive to buy, and I thought we should really uh, offer them for sale in our, on our website, so the other one is very similar uh, in condition. Um, oh, it's got the original tag on it, look. Wow. Yeah, quite nice. So these, again, are available on our website. So if you want to go to AAA surplus and collectibles.com.au, all this can be seen on the website and purchased. So about that now, about we're finished now, um, and my hands are absolutely filthy as you can see. Uh, we'll clean it all off and we'll take some more photographs. Okay, so bye for now. Thanks very much for looking and listening at our YouTube videos. Much appreciated. Alright, bye for now. See ya.